8% increase. Transportation and communications up near 5% as well. Services are mainstay, always has been, seems to always will be, up near 5% as well. And local government, there you are again, up 4.3%. For the total, we're almost at the 3 million total employment mark in the state, up 1.8% in total. Now, as far as the downside goes, these are the three that lead the way as far as slippage. But again, you have to look at the total number of jobs, especially in manufacturing, 550,000 jobs, down 1.6%. Real estate, predictably, down 07 and wholesale trade down 0.3. Not much, just no. a fraction for right. this. Mm -hmm. It's a small number. Now, as far as the Atlanta area goes, let's keep going with the, the losers, if you will. Manufacturing up at the top at 2.6%. You see that retail trade number. It's only down 0.3, 265,000 people still employed in the area in retail, a big category. And again, construction predictably, though a small base at near 70,000. Now, the, the winners, the increasers, again, there you go. State yep. government, 7.7% <laughs> percent right increase. Yeah, it sure does. At the top of the list, though the base is small, we have to give them their just due, only 47,000 people. Transportation and communications up 5.9%, single greatest gainer in terms of percentages. Local government back again at 5.5 services. For the overall, near 1.5 million people employed in the metropolitan Atlanta area accounts for about half the state's total employment. So mm -hmm. plenty of jobs still out there if you look real hard because the numbers are so large and they are still increasing. It'll be interesting to see how this year goes with the recession starting toward the end, at least fully toward the end of last year. Exactly. And, but actually starting out this year. So A smaller percentage increase yeah. most likely. Thank you, Ed. Sure.